So we want to start just by aligning ears with the shoulder and hip width and lifting your head up towards the ceiling. Long. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to reach your arms forward, but you do not want to shrug the shoulder any time when you lift arms, okay? And now you're going to bring the arms up without lifting shoulders and without like losing the form and opening here you can see creating a a curve on your on your mid back you keep it in like this so you're just practicing reaching without movement on your spine one more time good from here we're going to start by uh contracting the abs to do a little C curve like this and you're gonna be going slowly down until it gets a little challenging and then you're gonna come back up and lift the abs and lower good job again don't worry too much about the breathing patterns right now it's a beginner class work more on your form but obviously continues breathing right so again maybe every time you want to go a little bit farther down we're gonna do two more on the last time we're gonna try to go all the way down so if you get some comforts where you just hold on your legs okay and up nice last one we're trying all the way down now yes Good, inhale, exhale, lifting, looking at your fingertips. A little space the chin and the chest right now. You will start contracting the abs from upper, lower, middle. If you need help again, go ahead and up. Well done, again. So we're gonna do four more like that, guys. It's called row up, but this is a very beginner's um, modification right so two more and now watch that thing i told you in the beginning in any time you do not want to shrug the shoulders okay and here look when you lift your arms overhead you're not popping your rib cage there's no space between your mid back it's normal to have a neutral pelvic uh, i mean a neutral spine meaning on your lower back there is a little bit of a space but not, not on your mid back, okay? So here we go. We have two more. So watch that out. Rib cage stays closed so the, the, the mid back stays is still. You can start now adding breathing partner, pa partners. So you inhale here, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Well done. Lying down here now, you're going to bring your knees to the chest, shaking a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to extend the legs up. Okay. I know for some of you, flexibility may be an issue. So don't worry about that. What you need to do in this case is just. Um, lower the leg a little bit but as long as you don't take the uh you don't lose the pelvic placement keep the pelvis in, in neutral so what you want to do now guys is hold down here shoulders down hold it on your on the floor you're gonna squeeze the inner thighs together try to point your toes lengthening the leg because you're doing pilates to really learn uh, work on 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 flexibility right and lengthening and strengthening at the same time so we're gonna do four more like this inhaling down exhale up and three and two Ooh. and one challenging for beginner good bringing in the in Bending one knee here, we're going to practice a little more flexibility. Bend and extend one, and two, and three, 
in four. From here, you're gonna just hold whatever you can, but make sure the leg stays extended. So if you're not that flexible, then you can't bring the tie too close to your uh, to your chest. Just lower the leg, but make sure you keep extended. Otherwise, you're never gonna get that flexibility needed, right? And again, so inhale and exhale. So, but for me, I'm gonna go here so I can get some challenge. And here, and now you're gonna go in. Hold for eight, seven, six, five. You're not only holding, you're really challenging the flexibility, feeling the stretch. One more. And well done. Let's do the same with the other leg. So here we go. Again, extend your leg just as far as you can keep the leg extended. So just keep this angle here between your thigh and your belly as far as you can, or as close as you can keep your leg extended. You need to feel the challenge in four, right? And you just wait a little bit. Good. Feel it and do four more. Exhale, four. Three, two, one more. And this time we hold a little deeper, we push a little deeper on this stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Very nice, you guys. Here we go. Let's do a little row up now. Now, every time again, you're going to lift your arms overhead. You contract those abs so the, the rib cage doesn't pop. Exhale. A little space between chin and chest. Lifted by fingertips here. We're going to do three, two, and the last one. We're going to go up if you need to hold here. And let's work a little more on something called rowing like a ball, okay? But we're gonna start it very nice and slow. I'm gonna just give you um, a modification, okay? Or actually a very, a modification for um, beginners. Here we go. You wanna bring your knees to the chest like this. Stretch, stretch your back, your lower back. And what you want to start doing is contract your abs and start trying to rock, 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 and release, okay? So basically the goal here, it's from the beginning. You start massaging your spine and not letting any space here. Now you really want to do a C curve and you want to contract the abs, make sure like you look like a little ball. The more, the better, and you contract your abs, and you start rocking. Try to not cheat too much with your legs, because when you wanna make the movement come from your core. So abs really tight. Again, don't shrug the shoulder, shoulders down. It's all in your abs. You go, ooh, ooh. And eventually, you see you're going higher and higher, and higher and higher and higher and higher and balance, okay? So that's the goal. But you don't wanna, when you come up here, be very careful when you come up here, you don't wanna arch the lower back, never ever, okay? So that's why I'd rather that you spend your time just sitting here in the beginning until you get out of the control to come here and balance, okay? And balance, so let's just start it again. Take a break, Ooh. This exercise is so much fun. And many people does not teach it in the beginning, but I think if you go nice and carefully the way I'm doing and teaching you, you can get a lot of benefits and in, in go, uh, improve really quickly. So let's try again. First thing first, abs contract. I was initiating by the abs. A little space chain chest. You're not jamming here, a little space. Bring the knee as close as possible, abs tight. Remember, try to not use the leg a little too much. You may have to in the beginning and get it, but the main focus is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, to 15, 11, 12, 13, 
40, 50. Well done. You may want to take a breather now. We're going to do one more set like this, okay? Let's try. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, you know it. Abs in, shoulders down, inner thighs together, all connected here. Start the movement through the abs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, I'm not doing this. Seven, although, although it would be so much easier, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, oh wow, I broke a, a little sweat here. <sighs> Anyways guys, as you see, you cannot skip the lower back. You cannot have a space on the lower back on this one. Okay, the goal is to massage the back. Okay, let's try actually a third time on this one, okay? One more, let's do it. Four, three, two, one, one, two. <sighs> Five more, five, balance if you can, four, if you're being able to balance here without arch, three, you're getting there, two, you're evolving really fast, last one, awesome, you may want to come down here, oh wow guys, I'm so, so, so proud of you, even if you didn't go all the way up, this is amazing already, okay, let's end this exercise or this uh, by doing the row up like we did in the beginning so a whole cycle so here we go arms overhead inhale rib cage doesn't pop you learned that already inhale exhale looking at the fingertips okay here a little space between chin and chest you're not you're not cheating you're really engaging the abs to go up if you need you can use your legs or arms holding on your legs inhale up exhale fit together like this okay you can kind of, again make sure you're sitting on your ischis bones or sit bones and going forward a little bit you're gonna try to you know I know for many of you you won't be able to reach a uh, a lot of uh, this level of flexibility in that case just keep your feet farther okay and just push this way you can always help yourself by putting a towel under your seat becoming a little higher here that really helps and then what you're gonna do you're going to slowly bring the new knees down towards the mat and then lift and again and lift remember you're inclining forward a little bit because you want to push flexibility but nice and tall like there's a string on top of your head okay three more three two and one it feels good okay guys we're gonna stop here today because I want to easily introduce you to this method okay this is supposed to be a as you know a beginners or returning to work out after a huge hiatus okay and I hope you liked I hope you're feeling much better now and I'll see you next time